While the internet called out Melania Trump for ripping off Michelle Obama in her speech, you may have missed the mass transit bus that will finally put you in a freaking Mercedes already. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, we're going for a walk in the woods near any self-respecting scientific institution means you might see robots being walked and recorded for science. Is Silicon Valley copying real life or is it the other way around? This one's for your mama. Early stop, come on. Mercedes City Pilot self-driving buses are rolling out, which means all of you Logo Envy folk can now say your ride is also a luxury vehicle. In a milestone real-world test, one of the company's autonomous people carriers successfully drove a 20-kilometer route between Amsterdam's airport and a nearby town. It navigated city streets, traffic, and pedestrians at speeds reaching 43 miles per hour. The bus uses GPS, radar, dozens of cameras, and a data link to the city's network to keep itself in its lane and deliver all the passengers. There's no word when the city pilot will roll out for real or what will happen if someone plants a bomb on board and the bus drops below 50. Don't forget though, we've just recently seen self-driving autonomous vehicles roll out in the US that don't use a human driver even as a safety. This isn't a pie in the sky scenario, it's one that's actually happening. If you have a favorite bus driver, it's time to let them know, like this guy. Or this lady who saved a kid from choking on a penny. Okay, it's okay, you're going up, at least maybe you're going up. Okay, got it. It's been real, guys. And finally, some Michigan mechanical engineering kids got inspired by this thing. I mean, it works. So they're making a giant human-controlled Rubik's Cube, which will be 1,500 pounds once it's all done. I can't even solve this version, so kudos, nerds. <laughs>